Before we start, I do have a little surprise. So it turns out the guys over at Firaxis Games, the people who made XCOM, have been watching this series and they've rather enjoyed it. And thanks to them, I've got a bunch of XCOM game keys to give away on Steam. It includes XCOM, Un Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within, and all of the, the DLC. And I'm going to be giving them away throughout this video. So, as you watch the video, you're probably going to see a key or two maybe show up. And then uh, you go ahead and enter it and get yourself a free copy of XCOM. In fact, let's do one, say, right now. Boop! There we go. That's the first key. Whoever gets it first, it's theirs. Now, I think for the second one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put up parts of the code throughout the video. So if you want to get the free game, you have to watch the whole video to find the code and pay attention for that. And then I'll give away the last code probably on Twitter or something. So that's cool. Thank you kindly to the guys over at Fraxis Games. I really appreciate it. That being said, the console has spoken. We're going to Argentina. We're going to hopefully get a new recruit and keep some of the panic down there. Now, we do have some new recruits after the uh, poor attempt from the last mission. So let's welcome Zero One Zenis, Aohaku, and Promisha. Welcome to the squad. And Ultra Window, you've been here before, but you're about to go on your first mission. Before you guys even head out, let's get you properly suited up. Uh, let's actually keep the art thrower on you, just in case. Because if we can get an opportunity to capture a, an alien, that would be huge. You can get scoped up. Xenowis, you get a laser rifle. Uh, we'll keep you with the grenade. Never a bad idea to have. Armored up. Uh, am I short? I'm short a laser gun. Okay. Well, I really don't have a way of getting another one at the moment. Sorry, Xenus. You get to stick with the rifle. Permisha's got a better aim, and I'd rather him with the laser rifle. Hope you understand. Okay. Cool. <sighs> oh, let's hope we can make this work. One. Prepare for landing. Now this is a difficult We're mission, not very next. difficult. The threat there seems to be the most. So hopefully things won't be too bad. And I'm hoping this mission goes well, as we do have a console report coming up very soon. Soon enough that I don't think there's going to be another abduction or another mission in between now and the console report. So it's going to be up to these four guys to make sure we're ready for that. And we do have this two satellites ready to launch for that. Okay. Solid copy. Pretty familiar Strike. with this map. Strike one is cleared to engage. Not my favorite map, but I'm familiar with it. All right, gentlemen. We are going to take things pretty easy over here. Yeah. Yeah. So if I can't get a. See if I can get an idea of where aliens might be. And we definitely got some mutons. As expected. I don't want to go too far out this way, because usually aliens are down this alleyway. And they can easily flank a lot of my dudes. Because there's typically aliens all within these office buildings. So I want to be able to... Draw the aliens out without... Putting any of my guys in too much peril. Again, I'm gonna take things kind of slow. Zenis, you're gonna be a bit closer than anyone else, mostly because you've got that grenade, so I need you to be able to get that in throwing range. Yeah, see? We got. Shh. Oh, it's coming from down that way. I think I heard something. Alright, Zenis. Move up and duck by that trash can. Alright. Trying to stay relatively spread out. Uh, I'll go right there for now. I'm gonna keep Alhaku in this full cover back here. Mostly because there's not a whole lot of opportunities for that. Oh look! A couple of mutons back there. Anyone see them? Promisha! Damn. Ah, that's a load of bull. Alright. 
Well, so far we got two confirmed mutons, along with the second group that was over on the left side of the map. There you go. Ah, Thin Man! Zenus? Ah, damn. That was like a good shot to me, though. Window! On the Thin Man! Balls! Well, we're taking out a lot of the cover and opening up our line of sight, though. Shit! They're onto us! Okay. A thin Men shouldn't be too bad since we're in carapace armor and have laser guns. Mutons will still continue to be dangerous. Oh, Hopper, you're probably best off right there. Uh, Promisha actually can see one of the mutons. 60% chance for Criddle? He's not even in cover! Hit him, Promisha! Do it! Come on! Fuck! Uh, damn it. Now they're gonna be pissed! Uh, man. I don't have many other good options. Alright, we'll fall back slightly. Ah, I was hoping you'd be able to see the muton from here, too. Okay. Hostile spotted. Let him come to us. I hate that we have both mutons and thin men active on us right now. Watch out, Permisha! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Please stop. Miss. Miss, Missy Sinovich. Miss, 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 miss! Oh! Mm. No, not the panic! Not that anyone's hitting anything anyway. <laughs> Shit! Um, mm, this is a good spot, but the, aim, well, the full cover's there, but the aiming angles will ruin it. I don't know if I want him to double move. Ah! That's Time two more mutants. That's not the same two, is it? Nope, that's two more. Great, and now they know we're here. Shotgun. Finally, some damage done to them! But of course, one of my soldiers is panicking. They'll get them all. This was a mistake, wasn't it? Oh my god. Not that I'm super convinced we would have had a chance either way. All right. Oh, my goodness. Well, that's all of them. All six of them. If they try to move up into position to grenade, I'm going to give him the full cover for sure, at least. The very least I can do. Doesn't have a super great chance to hit any of them. I can grenade. Only two of them? Damn it. Alright. Alright. You can move this full cover. Oh, come on! Come on! Um Cover the flanks. Well, there ain't shit I can do about that. Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. That's all of them. That is eight fucking aliens. Connolly just running out of here. If they weren't all spotted and activated at the same time, I'd probably be able to do this, but now that they're all all engaging, I don't I don't think so. And with us already being so short on soldiers. <sighs> Fuck, not again. Come on.
Um, no one's a good enough shot to really take anyone down. I think my best shot was... What's his face? Primus? I just forgot his name. Damn it. He, been, he was the best shot. He's already dead. Ah, oh, Jesus. <sighs> I think I have to run. Much as I really, really hate that. I think I gotta run. <sighs> That's so frustrating. All right, let's just hope for the best. If I can at least get my soldiers out, this won't be as bad. But good Taking God. Fire. I. It's cool, I hunkered down. No panics, please. Last thing I want to deal with is more panicking. This is way about as good as it as would expect it to, really. Heavy fire over here. And he's suppressed. Yeah. Yeah, running. Look at them all. Running is the best option. Can I get a dash in? Alright, I can dash him at least. It'll help dodge. Ah! Eh. Uh, yeah, you've been hurt by worse, right? Central, we're pulling out. Yeah, there sure is. How's everyone else doing? At least I kept some of my Remember, soldiers. I don't we know. Will be watching. All right. Well. Oh no, that blows. South America is suddenly not doing too great. Well, all right. Commander, our satellite is Amber Schrader's back. For launch. That's good. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. I'm still. Sh Short As the alien time. attacks have become more frequent, Dalmatian girls still off for eight more days. Climbed. Our troop shortage is becoming a problem. We it's should start screening three potential days. candidates at the barracks immediately. All right, it's time to launch some satellites. I can get. We have two. We can have a total of two more up right now. Current options. I'm worried that Japan is going to cease their funding. And if they do, we would lose the shot of getting the future combat bonus if I have satellites for all four of them. And that future combat is an awesome, awesome bonus to have because it halves the cost of foundry upgrades and officer training school upgrades. So I can do, say, China and Australia, which would get us another $160 a month with two additional engineers. The possibility of Japan pulling out of the XCOM project, which I would say is likely. Negative. That equipment should <sighs> be passed on directly to the research team. Other option is that I can put it both over Argentina and Brazil, which would get us one more scientist, one more engineer month. 
along with a total of $150. And we would get the We Have Ways bonus, which allows us to instantly finish any interrogations and autopsies. Which can be useful and save us a lot of time. I am leaning towards doing this one. Africa's boned. You tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. It's a breach of protocol. Uh, because really the only difference is we get a scientist and an engineer, so have two more scientists. This is $160 compared to $150. As for interceptors, we would need to purchase another ship to have it flying above Argentina and protecting that one. We also need to get better ships. All right. I'm going to go with Argentina and Brazil. Launched. This will get us another $150 a month. At the moment, but we we now have the We Have Ways bonus. This doesn't look like a legitimate target. Which is huge. Skeleton suit's ready in four days. All right. I can't order any interceptors yet. Uh, just give me a few days. All right, console. Incoming transmission. Go ahead and yell at us. Commander, regrettably, South Africa and Australia have decided to withdraw from Australia this did, but Japan didn't. That leaves us in a difficult okay. position. Excellent work, Commander. Still, that's this not as bad as I thought I was going to be. Support of this project we did get three more scientists, worthwhile. two more engineers. We hope that your current successes only mark the beginning of an Some enduring money. effort to eliminate right. the extraterrestrial threat. Okay. We have money again! We will be in touch, Commander. A lot we need to do with that. First off, we need more soldiers. Very badly. Let's get... Uh, I don't hate to spend that much, but we need five more soldiers. The new engineers Facilities, how are we morning, doing? Commander. We're always glad to have more uh, I'm short five power... Oh, I'm short one power before I can get another satellite uplink online. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Really need another satellite uplink. Ah, alright, well. We also need an interceptor online for South America so they're protected. Oh, man. Just, man, that oh, sucks. I'm not even near, near getting these areas excavated to get more power generators online over here, which would help significantly. I gotta spend $40 to get there, and that'll take several days. How long does it take to build a satellite uplink? Like 20 days? Maybe not that long. A decent amount of time. Either way. Start excavating, I guess. Can I, can I get a. Ooh, we could build a foundry, though. Foundries are useful. But I guess, mm, mm, but that's another thing I spend money on. Shit. Also need laser cannon, but we have one alloy left. We got we gotta take out ships. All right, all right. Skeleton suit is complete. Yay! Well, now it's, we can instantly do all of these other, well, the ones we can. Sectoid autopsy done. This gets us a uh, temporary uh, boost that we can use during the interceptor defenses. Cyberdisc autopsy, done. And now we can prove UFO tracking. I don't have anywhere near a lot of corpses. I sold all the corpses, so we can actually get everything else. Ugh. That's not great. I just build one power generator. Here we get a six more power, which is just enough to get our satellite uplink online. It takes five days there, five days there. Okay. Hmm, fuck, I don't know what to do. See, the foundry allows us to upgrade like our scopes and shit. It costs seventy five dollars for that. It's one hundred and fifty dollars for that. Ah oh, man. 
How much is a power generator? Power generator is 60. There's two, I need to spend $210 just getting these online on their own. I, I gotta save money. That sucks. Satellite coverage now available over Argentina. A UFO has landed in Argentina. Oh, I'm sorry, Germany. Unidentified. Hate to say it, but um, not really in a position to do that. Do you have a bunch of new soldiers, which is good. We have a sniper available again. And Dalmatia Girl's coming back soon, but we're not ready to take on a UFO landing site. Oh, please don't bite me in the we ass. Scrambled our fighters to intercept the Jeremy's pissed UFO because of that, contact. but... Let's hope it doesn't do any serious damage. Oh, we're picking shit. up a new contact, and it's generating a strange signal. Almost like it's scanning for something. Oh, there ain't nothing I can do about this. Welp. So that alien UFO that landed I choose to ignore, which I still believe is the right choice, was basically scanning for satellites. And now this UFO Commander, we've just lost one of our satellites. shot down our yeah, satellites. We will now be unable to track any UFO contacts over that particular nation. And they've cut our funding so, as a result. We lost Germany. Which means I need to build another satellite right away. That's fine. Maybe I can put a satellite in a better place than Germany. Like here. I hear. I don't know. Also, our Doom Counter's not looking too hot. Still in this. Excavation complete. Okay. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. <laughs> Actions in progress are marked on the hollow. Well, at least now our decisions are gonna be way easier because there's only two spots. Alright, ladies and gentlemen of the console. We need we have some abductions that we need to take care of. The United States and India. United States is offering money. India is offering engineers. Both are at three level panic, which means whichever one we don't have will go up into five. Also keep in mind the rest of that continent. This is where we're at, this is what we need to handle, this is what we need to take care of. So even though we are getting short on countries to help, we're still in this. It's not lost yet. We have time. That being said, ladies and gentlemen of the console, it's time for you to vote. Vote now. <laughs>